Good morning, sir. Good morning, Arif and Mira. I hope you both had a good sleep last night, because today you're not going to sleep. What? Can you tell us why, sir? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just joking. What I meant was, your mission will take place during midnight. Everybody on Earth will be fast asleep, except you guys. Why at night, sir? Isn't it better if we perform our mission during the day? Yes, sir. Mira is afraid of the dark. No. There are always reasons in this mission. The reason is to gather information about constellations. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. stars from our planet they are the same stars yeah but where's the fun did you hear that sound that's the sound of mosquitoes we can fall ill from its bite don't worry the mosquitoes are afraid of you let's look at the stars mmm that's quite beautiful the skies are also clear. On a clear night, we can see millions of stars in the sky. The stars do not move. They have fixed positions. Some of these stars form certain patterns and they take the shapes of things, animals and humans that are seen on Earth. These patterns are given specific names. This entire group is called a constellation. Let's see now. What kind of constellation can we find today? Hmm. There! Can you see the stars? Can you see the pattern? No? They are new to this field. Of course they can't see them. In that case, let me help you out. Look at the stars again. Look at the stars carefully. Let me join the stars using a line like this. Aha! Now can you see the pattern? That's the Big Dipper! How did you do that? With some special effects, of course. <laughs> Just for your information, there are 88 kinds of constellations that you can find in the sky. These constellations are grouped into eight constellation families. As a genius, I know all their names as well as their family names. But today, I just want to show you only four major constellations. So look at the sky. As shown earlier, that's 
the Big Dipper. It's shaped like a ladle. See that one? Let's form a line. Hmm. That Scorpio. It's shaped like a scorpion. There's another one. Let's connect the stars to build a picture. Oh, it looks like a hunter and a bow. That's Orion. See those shining stars? It has only four stars in its constellation. Let's form a line. Oh yes! It is shaped like the letter T. That is the Southern Cross. It is pointing to the south. It points to the south? Really? You didn't know that? Some of these constellations point in certain directions. The Orion points to the north. So does the Big Dipper. The Southern Cross points to the south. So... They act like a compass? Not like the actual compass. These constellations point to a certain direction. That's why they are important to humans on Earth, even more so during the ancient times. Long ago, people had to travel day and night in order to reach far away places. This task was made more difficult because not everyone at that time knew how to read maps or owned a compass. Hey! Who turned off the light? Don't panic. Take out the map and compass. I'm sure we will be safe. Be safe from what? Here, here. Take the map. I don't have a compass. How do I read the map without a compass? That's impossible. Huh? You can't read it? Now we are stuck in the middle of nowhere without any direction. We are doomed. are embarrassing me. We can look at the stars for directions. Don't worry. Wow! You can do that? Are you a wizard or something? No! By looking at constellations, they will tell us the direction. Some people use the constellations to tell them the correct time for harvesting and planting crops. Correct time? Is there a constellation that shows time? Does it act like a watch? No. Certain constellations can only be seen during certain months. So, it acts as a signal to the farmer of the coming seasons. For example, when farmers start to see the Big Dipper and the Southern Cross in the sky, they will know that spring is over and summer will begin. The farmers will start planting crops. Really? That's cool! Next time, I will learn about constellations better. I will learn to read maps and buy an expensive compass. Thanks, ancient Mira. Wake up, Arif. Wake up. How can
can you fall asleep at a time like this? Wake up! Huh? I fell asleep? That's weird! When did I fall asleep? I was in the middle of telling you about constellations and you fell asleep! That was so rude of you! I'm really sorry, Mira! It happened suddenly. Now I feel very tired. Let's go to sleep. If you want to sleep here, go ahead. I want to go back home to my house. Let's go, Elma. I was just joking, Mira. <sighs> Bye, guys. <laughs>